people on the YouTube. Okay, um, so today I want to be quickly looking at um, Microsoft Report Viewer and a report. Um, it's quite basic, so um, it's going to be very quick. Um, all I've done is I've taken the project of the pre uh, previous video series and I have added a button. This button opens a new form, okay, um, which is going to be our report viewer. Um, on the form itself, I have a report viewer. In your tools, under reporting, Microsoft Report Viewer, there's a the name. Okay. Um, the report view itself, what I've done is I've docked it all over the page. The page itself, I have um, set the window state to maximized. The button itself has only got a one line of code that says me.close. Okay. So, um, to start off with, um, a report viewer obviously needs a report for it to to display. So there's a couple of ways to add a report. Okay, you can go to your project, add Windows form, and you'll find a Microsoft report in your list. You can change your name there, and then add the report and manually configure it. But um, we're going to be using a wizard. Okay. Um, the wizard is absolutely exactly the same as if you should go to the smart tag and design a new report. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to design a new report. I'm going to click next. And because we've already got data sources, a context table, it shows us the data sources we have. If we um, want to make a report about a data source that we don't currently have in the project, we can add a data source from here. Okay, but for now, we're just going to use the context table. Click Next. Um, what report type? Do you want a matrix or tabular? I'm going to leave it on tabular. Okay. I don't want to um, have, I, uh, you know, group it by page or group it by a specific, let's say, um, group it by title, Mr. or Mrs. or group it by a person's name. So what I'm going to do is I just want a detailed list. So I'm going to click on title and add that to the detail field. Same with the first name, last name, telephone number, fax, contact email. Okay? I'm going to click next. Do you want it stepped or blocked? I like the little lines in this. I'm going to leave it on blocked. And then what colors do you want it? You can change the colors from here. You can also manually go and configure it after you've selected it. But for this video, I'm just going to leave it on, on the basic. And the report name, I'm going to call it customer reports. Ah, contacts. <laughs> Contact reports. Okay, so here it is now designed um, a basic contact report. We need to then go back to our report viewer and select the report from there. It is our contacts report. Okay, and let's give it a run. Okay, sorry. I forgot to say that um, yeah. Um, I forgot to point out that um, the report itself um, imported binding source a context table adapter and a data set. Okay, so we need to make sure that in our line of code at the back here we have me dot report viewer one dot refresh report. Okay, um, this is uh, um, the reason why my report didn't want to work right now. So there we go, and it brings up the information. Okay, so. Um, this is quite nice. It's not too bad. It's very plain and simple. But we want to look at how to change and um, format the layout of our report. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, hold on. Let's just look at the controls on the top first. Um, you can scroll through pages if you have a bunch of pages. You can also refresh the report if you have a report that um, works on summary reports or stuff like that. Okay. You can print, obviously, um, to any of your local printers. 
even if you have a remote um, printer, you can add a printer from there. Okay, um, the layout. This is now the print layout. This is the basic layout. Okay, you could change the page setup margins um, for printing. This is only for printing though. You can set the margins. You can set the the landscape or portrait, and um, you can export it to Excel or Acrobat. Quite nice. Um, you can zoom in and out. Okay, the whole page, 150. Hundred, or you can search for something. If I look for Bob, click on Find, it'll actually jump to Bob. Find next, it'll jump to the next Bob's it can find. No more Bob's. All right. So um, those controls are quite handy on the top. Okay. So now to look at how to change some basic features. Okay. I'm going to remove the report via refresh report, um, because what I want to do is um, I want to change the layout so that when the report viewer is shown the layout changes automatically to the print layout. So I'm going to go me dot report viewer one dot set display mode and the display mode we're going to go to the print layout. Okay and one thing to notice is when you change the display mode the report refreshes automatically that's why I've removed refresh report. So if we go and run our report now, you will notice that we can see the report and it, it is already in the print view. Okay? Another thing I want to show is on the report itself. So we're going to go to the report. Okay. Um, I'm going to make this about, let's say, 18 centimeters wide and just make it a little bit bigger okay if I run this now um, our report would actually be bigger than the view area so it cuts off half of our report and it puts it on another page okay so to change that we need to change and look at the margins you can see there's a very big margin between the actual report and the side of the page. So what I'm going to do is um, on the report itself, um, in the properties pane, I am going to look for the report. All right, and if I scroll down and look at the margins, they currently are 2.5 centimeters. That's quite a lot. So I'm going to make it 0 0.7 millimeters from every side. Okay, give it a run. And there we go. Everything nice and neatly, the report size are very good, um, very close to the side. Everything fits on one page. And the last thing for this video I want to show is how to change the layout to a, um, a landscape. So what I'm going to do is back into our report. All right. Um, I'm going to change, once again, go to the report, and the page size is 21 centimeters by 29, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the two around, 29, 21 centimeter, and if I run the report now, my report will be in a landscape view, there we go, in a landscape view, all right, in the print preview um, thing itself. All right, so um, that's quick and basic. We'll be using this in the next video, and uh, in the next video we're going to be start looking at the data, how to actually filter through the data to give specific items. Um, so I'll most probably see you in the next video. See you later. Cheers.